everybody. Once again, we are live at Sakravat Hospital, Bangalore. We have with us Dr. Arjun Srivansa, Senior Consultant and HOD of uh, Neurosciences. Discuss all your uh, queries on benefits of uh, robotic surgery in spine. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sir, here are a uh, few questions from the viewers uh, about uh, the benefits of robotic surgery in spine. Mm -hmm. So, can we proceed? Sure. Yeah. Uh, how does robot robotic surgery enhance uh, precision and accuracy in spinal uh, procedure compared to a traditional method? Let me say at the onset, uh, spine surgery, use of robots in spine surgery is very new. It was just over the last 3-4 years probably we have been using it. Uh, and is now more common as we find the benefits of surgery improve with robotic surgery. Uh, simple reason being that obviously it does a better job than a human hands because it's more precise. But so having said that, I think still they need the human behind the robot to make sure it's precise. Sir, uh, can you explain how robotic assisted spine surgery that minimize uh, trauma to uh, surrounding tissues and reduce the risk of the complications? Uh, the advantage of having a robot is that when you put incisions, we are guided completely to where you want to do it. Sir. Sometimes we use uh, navigation, sometimes we use uh, the sea arm, but all of them have some amount of little variations in, in seeing what our goals are. The robot is very clear. You set it up as per the uh, markings on the navigation and you will find that going exactly to that place. Okay. So that of course brings down the uh, size of incisions and probably also minimizes tissue trauma at that level. Alright. Uh, are there specific spinal conditions uh, or a procedure where robotic surgery, uh, surgery offers a distinct advantage over uh, conventional approaches? Yes. As we see the aging population now, we are seeing more and more patients requiring uh, uh, lumbar or spinal fusions where we put in the plants to help stabilize the spine. So when we put these screws in, the advantage we have the robots are that they help us go absolutely in the right direction, the right amount of size, the right distance into the spine, uh, to the body of the spine. So the results are much better. The post operative complications are less, and the use of robot, I think, is specifically more only for this condition. I don't think it really helps in any more other uh, conditions of spine surgery like tumors or uh, disc herniations. It would be a robot using a robot for a disc herniation because there's not much of an navigation yeah. required to go into the disc space, unlike when putting screws inside. Sir, uh, can you please tell me what kind of a training uh, and an experience uh, are required for surgeons to perform these uh, surgeries effectively? I think most spine surgeons already have an eyeballing with uh, a 3D imaging in their face and their head. Especially Indian surgeons because we are so exposed to not having a lot of things uh, in uh, smaller hospitals. Probably have only one X-ray machine. So because of that, we are all used to uh, 3D picture in our mind and we can put in our implants without much ado. Uh, but having said that, training on a robot is definitely required because it's a new technology and it is a new way of doing surgeries. Uh, we could lose our way if we do not spend time learning the technique of using a robot in spine That's surgery. Right. Sir, how does robotic uh, technology enable better visualization and planning of uh, complex uh, spinal surgeries? The advantage of a robot is also because we can pre-plan what we want to do. We do the imaging beforehand and then we feed it to the navigation and uh, what is called an OAM, we use an OAM intraoperatively so that we can merge all these images onto the robot software and then actually do real-time, see how big the screw is and how, how the trajectory should be, which way the screw should go in. So all that helps in better visualization of where the screws will go and once we put the robot in, it helps us go in the same direction as we planned earlier. Okay. So, what are the potential patient benefits associated with the robotic spine surgery? Um, obviously, because of the uh, nature of the robot being very precise, mm -hmm. there is very less tissue trauma, less pain thanks to that. There is less blood loss. Yes. There is faster rehabilitation. Patient, yeah, the patient gets out of bed faster yes. Yes. and 
can give that to uh, normal work maybe little faster than in traditional surgery. I when I say traditional surgery, we are now into minimal invasive surgeries. Even the old traditional surgeries have gone away. Yeah. Pretty much we are now into minimal invasive surgery. Yes. The robot is one step ahead. It helps us do MIS better. Are there any limitations or challenges associated with this surgery uh, that patient should uh, be aware of? I think the biggest uh, thing they should be aware of is whether their surgery is actually suited to be done by a robot or not. Okay. Secondly, has the uh, surgeon been actually trained in robotic surgery? I think these two are the main challenges rather than actually spinal condition by itself. If these two are taken care of, I think they should be good for their spinal surgery. Then robotic surgery contributes to uh, shorter hospital stay or a quicker uh, return yeah, to like normal I, activities. Like I told you earlier, yes. thanks to the smaller incisions and less tissue trauma, mm -hmm. it is a quicker stay in the hospital. Maybe oh, okay. the delta is not so big, but definitely is for somebody who is working to be out of hospital faster and rehab at home. Okay. So yeah, it helps a lot in bringing down the uh, length of stay in the hospital. Okay. So here can we discuss uh, the role of robotic in uh, enhancing the safety? and uh, uh, efficacy of uh, minimally invasive spine surgery. Yeah, so like I was saying earlier, minimal spine surgery has already been done the last decade, I yes. think, really, where we put very few incisions, we do everything yes. to the skin and everything navigated. Robotic surgery has used that technology, improved on it, and helped us bring in an arm to give us a direction and uh, with the software being used together, making sure that we go know where out of the trajectory their robot is telling you to go in. So it has enhanced what we already have now. Uh, it's not like we could not do it before the robots were there. But I think there's still a long way to go by the time the robots take a, a big part of our spine surgery. Yeah. Sir, are there any ongoing research uh, or development in robotic spine surgery that could further improve patients' uh, outcome? Uh, I think now the AI is huge. I think once they incorporate AI into the present day spine robots, I think we could be looking at a very different uh, ballgame. I think there's a couple of years on the line. And I don't know how much uh, work in spine surgery we'll have, apart from diagnosing spine problems. Yes. But let's see, we are looking forward to it. I hope it will be my uh, time of practice. <laughs> That's a great information, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for your valuable insight. And thank you, viewers. Thanks for joining us. If you have any queries, you can leave us a comment and the expert will answer you soon. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Have a great day.